If you are turning onto a street with more than one lane traveling in your direction, you should a. Turn into the lane closest to your previous lane. b. Turn into the lane marked with an arrow. c. Turn into the middle lane. d. Turn into any lane. a. Turn into the lane closest to your previous lane. When turning onto a street with more than one lane moving in the direction that you are traveling, turn into the lane that is closest to your previous lane. Do not change lanes when turning. Before entering a roundabout, you must slow down and yield to A. Vehicles in the roundabout. B. Bicyclists in the roundabout. C. Pedestrians in the roundabout. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. When entering a roundabout, you must yield to pedestrians, bicyclists, and vehicles that are already in the roundabout. Worn or bald tires. A. Can make turning more difficult. B. Are likely to hydroplane. C. Can increase your stopping distance. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Worn or bald tires can increase your stopping distance and make turning more difficult. Tires without adequate tread also increase the risk of hydroplaning. The driver's left arm and hand are extended downward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to A. Turn left. B. Turn right. C. Stop. D. Start up. C. Stop. If a driver's left arm and hand are extended downward, they are indicating that they intend to stop. Adjust your driving accordingly if following a driver who is using this hand signal. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. To change lanes you should a. Check your mirrors and signal, then change lanes. b. Signal, check your mirrors, check your blind spot in the direction you plan to move, then change lanes. c. Signal, check your mirrors, and change lanes. d. Signal and change lanes. b. Signal, check your mirrors, check your blind spot in the direction you plan to move, then change lanes. Before changing lanes, you should activate your turn signal in the appropriate direction and check your rear view and side mirrors. Look over your shoulder in the direction you plan to move in order to check your blind spot and check the far lane to be sure no one else is trying to enter the same lane as you. Change lanes when you are sure it is safe to do so. You may drive around the gates at a railroad crossing. A. When the train has passed. B. Under no circumstances. C. When the lights have stopped flashing. D. When other drivers drive around the gates. This sign means. A. Low clearance. B. Fines double in a work zone. C. No left turn. D. Do not block intersection. A. Low clearance. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that they are approaching an area with low clearance. Consuming which of the following substances may impair your ability to drive safely and may result in an arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicants DUII. A. Beer, wine, and other liquor. B. Controlled substances, such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. C. Inhalants, such as glue or paint. D. All of the above. 
D. All of the above. A wide variety of intoxicants can impair your ability to drive. These include all types of alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, inhalants, and many legal medications, both prescription and over-the-counter. Allow a larger space cushion than usual when stopping. A. On an incline. B. At an intersection. C. At a stop sign. D. At a toll plaza. A. On an incline. You should allow more space in front of your vehicle than usual when you are stopped on an uphill slope. If the vehicle in front of you rolls backward toward your vehicle when traffic begins to move again, it is less likely that there will be a collision. You may cross solid yellow lines. A. To pass traffic moving in the same direction. B. During daylight hours only. C. At any time. D. When making turns. D. When making turns. As a general rule, broken traffic lines may be crossed but solid lines may not. Solid yellow lines may be crossed only when the driver is making a turn. If you are driving on a one-way street and an emergency vehicle using its flashing lights approaches your vehicle, you must. A. Drive with your flashers turned on. B. Drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. C. Speed up and take the nearest exit. D. Slow down until the vehicle passes you. B. Drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. If an emergency vehicle using its lights or siren approaches while you are driving on a one-way street, you must drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. Double solid yellow lines painted down the middle of the road mean A. Railroad crossing ahead B. Pedestrian crossing ahead C. Passing is not permitted from either direction D. Passing is permitted from either direction C. Passing is not permitted from either direction Double solid yellow lines in the center of the road mean that passing is not allowed from either direction. You may not cross the lines unless you are making a left turn or passing pedestrians, bicyclists, and riders of scooters or skateboards when the opposite lane is clear and you can pass safely. On slippery roads, you should A. Slow down. B. Drive more quickly. C. Drive the speed limit, with caution. D. Not drive more quickly than 20 miles per hour. A. Slow down. You should slow down at the first sign of rain, snow, or sleet, all of which can create slippery road conditions. When conditions on the road are less than ideal, safety may require that you drive more slowly than the posted speed limit. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in platted subdivisions is a. 25 miles per hour, b. 35 miles per hour, c. 45 miles per hour, d. 55 miles per hour, a. 25 miles per hour. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in platted subdivisions is 25 miles per hour. If a different speed limit is posted, you should follow that speed limit. This road sign means A. You must travel at the speed indicated. B. The maximum legal speed on the roadway is 55 miles per hour. C. You must travel through the intersection at the posted speed. D. None of the above. B. The maximum legal speed on the roadway is 55 miles per hour. 
This is a speed limit sign. It indicates the maximum legal speed that you may drive on the road where it is posted. At times of rain, snow, ice, or other less than ideal conditions, you may have to drive more slowly than the posted limit. You are driving on a narrow road when you meet an oncoming vehicle. You must a. Pull completely off the road and stop. b. Allow the oncoming vehicle at least one half of the main traveled portion of the road. c. Demand the other vehicle pull over to make room. d. Turn on your high beam headlights to make sure the other vehicle sees you. b. Allow the oncoming vehicle at least one half of the main traveled portion of the road. On narrow roads, you must allow vehicles traveling in the opposite direction at least one half of the main traveled portion of the road. Both vehicles must have adequate space in order for the drivers to safely pass one another. This sign means A. You must turn left or right. B. You are approaching a T intersection. C. The road that you are on intersects with a divided highway. D. You are on an overpass above a divided highway. C. The road that you are on intersects with a divided highway. This sign indicates that the road that you are on intersects with a divided highway. A divided highway is two one-way roadways separated by a median or guide rail. Before turning left, it is important to a. Sound your horn. b. Yield to oncoming vehicles. c. Swing to the right side of your lane. d. Wait until oncoming traffic has a red light. B. Yield to oncoming vehicles. When turning left at a traffic signal, you must yield the right of way to pedestrians and oncoming traffic. Two solid white lines painted across a traffic lane show the boundaries of a crosswalk. As a driver, you should know that A. Motor vehicles have the right of way over pedestrians in crosswalks. B. When pedestrians are in crosswalks, they should be given the right of way. C. No one has the right of way in a crosswalk. D. Pedestrians are responsible to stay out of the way of all traffic. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is to A. Get out of the car and go for help. B. Lay down in your car and go to sleep. C. Walk into the road and get the attention of other drivers. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is stay in your car and wait for help. You are most likely to be found if you don't leave your vehicle. Additionally, it may be unsafe to walk around outside in a snowstorm. You are driving in the right lane of a multi-lane highway and want to move into the left lane. You should a. Look in your rearview mirror for traffic behind you before changing lanes. b. Look over your left shoulder for traffic in your blind spot before changing lanes. C. Look in your side mirror for traffic and turn on your directional signal. D. All of the above. Larger vehicles have A. Larger blind spots. B. Smaller blind spots. C. No blind spots. D. The same blind spots as smaller vehicles. A. Larger blind spots. The larger the vehicle, the larger the blind spots. Large trucks and SUVs have spots close to their rears that cannot be seen in their side or rear view mirrors.
When merging onto a freeway, it is usually best to a. Proceed slowly while waiting for an opening. b. Accelerate to a speed that is faster than the speed of traffic. c. Turn on your hazard lights until safely on the freeway. d. Accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic. d. Accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic. When entering a freeway, Use the on-ramp to accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic so you can blend in smoothly and safely. Entering traffic must yield to traffic already on the freeway. When you park uphill on a street with a curb. A. Keep the front wheel straight and set the parking brake. B. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. C. Turn the front wheels toward the curb. D. Turn the back wheels into the curb. B. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. When parking on an incline where there is a curb, you should turn your wheels sharply to the left, away from the curb. This way, if your brakes fail, your vehicle will not roll into traffic. When you need to change lanes, it is important to a. Signal your intentions ahead of the lane change. b. Check your blind spot. c. Make sure the lane is clear before entering. d. All of the above. d. All of the above. Always signal for an appropriate amount of time before making a lane change or exiting a freeway. Before you make any move to the right or left, quickly turn your head and look over your shoulder to see if your blind spot is clear. As you drive, you're required to stop your vehicle. A. At an intersection with a stop sign. B. Where there is a red light. C. When a traffic officer orders you to stop. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Situations where motorists are required to stop include approaching intersections with stop signs, approaching intersections where a red light is either flashing or illuminated, or any time when a traffic officer orders your vehicle to stop. Compared to driving during the day, driving at night is a. Less dangerous. B. No more or less dangerous. C. More dangerous. D. Easier on your eyes. C. More dangerous. Driving at night is more dangerous than driving during the day for several reasons. It is harder to see in the dark. You may be temporarily blinded by the glare from other vehicles' lights, and there are likely to be more drivers on the road who are tired or under the influence. When driving near a blind pedestrian who is carrying a white cane or using a guide dog, you should a. Slow down and be prepared to stop. b. Take the right of way. c. Proceed normally. d. Drive away quickly. When parking uphill on a hill or incline with a curb. a. Turn your front wheels sharply toward the curb. b. Turn your front wheels slightly to the right. C. Turn your front wheels sharply away from the curb. D. Keep your front wheels straight. C. Turn your front wheels sharply away from the curb. To keep your vehicle from rolling into traffic when parked facing uphill, turn your front wheels sharply away from the curb. If you are parking uphill on a street that has no curb, Turn the wheels sharply toward the edge of the road. Coming to a complete stop at an intersection, yielding to cross traffic, pedestrians, and then proceeding through the intersection when the way is clear corresponds with A. A solid red light. B. A flashing yellow light. C. A solid green light. D. A flashing red light. 
D A flashing red light. A flashing red traffic light means the same thing as a stop sign. You must come to a complete stop, yield to cross traffic and pedestrians, and then proceed when the way is clear. You are approaching an intersection when the traffic light changes from green to solid yellow. You should a. Consider it the same as a caution sign and continue through the intersection. b. Stop immediately. c. Stop before entering the intersection, unless you are too close to stop safely. d. Speed up to get through the intersection before the red light appears. c. Stop before entering the intersection, unless you are too close to stop safely. When approaching an intersection with a solid yellow traffic light, slow to a stop before entering the intersection, if it is safe to do so. If you can't stop safely, drive carefully through the intersection. You approach an emergency vehicle that is stopped with its lights flashing. You must a. Slow down, if possible, change lanes so you will not drive next to the stopped emergency vehicle. b. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. c. Stay in your lane and continue to drive at the same speed. d. Accelerate to quickly pass the stopped vehicle. a. Slow down, if possible. Change lanes so you will not drive next to the stopped emergency vehicle. If you approach an emergency vehicle, tow truck, or roadside assistance vehicle that is stopped with its lights flashing, you must change lanes to allow the vehicle extra space. If there is only one lane moving in your direction, or if changing lanes would be unsafe, you must slow down to a speed below the posted speed limit and give the stationary vehicle as much room as possible. Always slow down and be prepared to stop when you approach an emergency scene. Which is the most common cause of traffic crashes? A. New drivers. B. Human error. C. Bad weather. D. Bad roads. B. Human error. Crashes often occur when one driver does not see another vehicle or when a driver does something unexpected. Communicate with other drivers on the road to help prevent traffic crashes. A steady yellow traffic signal means that a fill in the blank light will soon appear. A. Flashing yellow. B. Steady green. C. Steady red. D. Flashing red. C. Steady red. A steady yellow light on a traffic signal indicates that a steady red light will soon appear. If you miss your exit on an interstate expressway, A. Stop and make a U turn. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. C. Roll down your window and ask the driver next to you for help. D. Back up on the highway. You may continue carefully through an intersection with a yellow light if A. There is an emergency vehicle crossing your lane. B. There are pedestrians crossing. C. You are turning right. D. You are already within the intersection when the light changes to yellow. D. You are already within the intersection when the light changes to yellow. If a steady yellow light appears when you are already within an intersection, you should continue through the intersection carefully. This sign means a. Railroad crossing. B. One-way traffic. C. Limited parking. D. Playground ahead. A. Railroad crossing. 
Circular traffic signs indicate upcoming railroad crossings. This sign tells drivers that they are approaching a railroad crossing and should be looking for signs of an oncoming train. What color are pavement markings that separate traffic lanes moving in opposite direction? A. Yellow. B. White. C. Yellow and white. D. Yellow, white, and black. The driver's left arm and hand are extended upward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to A. Turn left. B. Turn right. C. Come to a stop. D. Go straight ahead. B. Turn right. If a driver's left arm and hand are extended upward, they are indicating that they intend to turn right. Adjust your driving accordingly if following a driver who is using this hand signal. Highway markings. A are usually not important. B. Are only found in construction zones. C. Provide information for drivers. D. Are usually red and blue in color. C. Provide information for drivers. Highway markings provide information for drivers. Markings help drivers correctly position their vehicles on roadways inform drivers of safe passing zones, and warn drivers about upcoming conditions. This sign means A. Winding road. B. No parking. C. Right lane closed. D. Multiple turns. A. Winding road. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that they are approaching a winding road and that they should adjust their speed accordingly. To drive safely at night, you should A. Increase your following distance. B. Not drive if you are tired. C. Make sure your headlights are working properly. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. At night, visibility is reduced. Take steps to make driving in the dark more safe for you and the other drivers on the road. You are waiting to turn left at a multi-lane intersection and opposing traffic is blocking your view. You should A. Accelerate rapidly when the first lane you need to cross is clear. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. C. Wait for an oncoming driver to wave you across the intersection. D. Edge your car into each lane of opposing traffic as soon as it clears. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. You should never start a left turn until you can see that all the lanes you need to cross are clear and that you can safely make the turn. When a traffic signal light turns green, you should A. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. B. Accelerate as quickly as possible. C. Back up slowly. D. Not move until another driver waves you on. A. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. A green light tells you that you can go through the intersection. However, you must first yield the right of way to traffic and pedestrians who are still in the intersection. When approaching railroad tracks, you should A. Look, listen, slow down, and be prepared to stop. B. Speed up to cross the tracks before the gate is lowered. C. Try to drive around a lowered gate. D. Not pay attention to how many tracks there are to cross.
A. Look, listen, slow down, and be prepared to stop. When approaching railroad tracks, you should look, listen, slow down, and be prepared to stop for trains or other vehicles that may be using the rails. When driving in rain, you must A. Use low beam headlights. B. Use high beam headlights. C. Use parking lights. D. Use no lights. A. Use low beam headlights. In rainy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights. If an approaching train is near enough or going fast enough to be a danger, you must A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Not cross the tracks until the train has completely passed. C. Cross the tracks at your own risk. D. Find an alternative route across tracks. B. Not cross the tracks until the train has completely passed. You should look and listen for trains before crossing any railroad tracks. If an approaching train is near enough or going fast enough to be a danger, you cannot go across the tracks. This is true even if they have no signals or the signals are not working. The posted speed limit shows A. Only a recommended driving speed. B. The exact speed at which you must travel to avoid a ticket. C. The maximum safe driving speed under ideal road and weather conditions. D. The maximum safe driving speed under all road conditions. C. The maximum safe driving speed under ideal road and weather conditions. A speed limit sign shows the maximum legal driving speed for the stretch of highway where it is posted. Driving safely may require you to travel more slowly than the posted limit. When conditions are less than ideal, drivers should slow down. What should you do if your accelerator sticks while you are driving? A. Reach down and attempt to pull it up. B. Shift to park. C. Shift to neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake. D. Turn the engine off. C. Shift to neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake. If your accelerator sticks while you are driving, keep your eyes on the road. Quickly shift the vehicle into neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake pedal. Pull off the road when it is safe to do so and turn off the engine. If worried, nervous, angry, or crying, a driver A. Will drive no differently than they would if they were thinking more clearly. B. Can drive faster because they are more in touch with their senses. C. Should take the time to focus on driving before starting the engine. D. Should call a friend to vent while driving. <laughs>